tomorrow. Well, here we are at my childhood home. So this is where it all began. It's always hard for me getting through these visits with my mother. She's a master at making me feel inadequate. It's weird. Seems like just yesterday I moved out, went to college, and started my adult life. Ten years. Time has passed so quickly, it's scary. Mm, not for me. I've really been living in the present moment, so every day is like a small eternity of abundance and wonder. Well, still, I can't help thinking relentlessly about how before we know it, we'll be on our deathbeds with nothing left but our fading memories and regrets. I've been leading my life in such a way that I won't have any regrets on my deathbed. I've been living just a very full life. Anyway, let's get this over with. Hey, Ma. You remember my friend? Erica, you look so beautiful. Really good to see you, Gina. You look fabulous. <laughs> I've been tracking your life and career with these clippings and memorabilia. <gasps> Gina. <laughs> hmm? The wedding portrait. <laughs> No, I'm not the bride. Sorry. <laughs> what was I thinking? Wearing white to your wedding. Stupid! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go splash some water on my face. Oh, okay. You'll always be my daughter, with all the baggage that entails. But Erica's like a sister. <laughs> oh, Gina, you're great. Oh. Hey. Do you see how she tries to pit me against you? This place was the setting of a stifling, oppressive childhood under her rule. She's not that bad. Tamara! A secret garden. God, it must have been so enchanting to grow up with this. I never knew it was here. 